Welcome back guys, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for allowing me to get to 1000 subscribers. It means so much to me that I can help you guys doing something I love. With some videos going to 7000k, that's amazing, thank you so much again. Thank you all for the amazing comments and the likes and everything. Now without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video from me. Do you ever wonder how you can create an abstract concept drawing, something more interesting and eye-catching to put in your presentation, something like these images, different than the normal diagrams we see. Now there's nothing wrong with the other ones, but I enjoy some initial abstract sketches to explain what has been done. The first thing I did was to draw out on paper and experiment with forms and line weights and stuff. Now you might think, what does this mean, and I will explain further down the video as you will as you need to see the current project I am working on. Now we're going to use Illustrator and Photoshop because we're working with vector images and then after raster images. And Illustrator is so easy to trace over drawings, it's amazing. So I opened a new page on A4 and inserted the image using Ctrl O and dragging and dropping the image. The main tool I will be using is the pen tool which can be seen on the sidebar and or you can press P. I used a circle first to the curved spine and turned it into a line drawing and clicking the direct selection tool to pick the anchor points and deleting them. I then did this for all this, the shapes using the pen tool. I then wanted to add an old wrinkling paper background just to make it look a bit more old. I firstly chose some dark colors but then later on I changed it because it did not look very welcoming. I did some quick research on what my building is trying to say to the people and what feeling I want them to feel and I used these colors. I then just laid around with some of the colors and the forms and you know just to make them a bit more interesting. So now I need to add some textures and some color gradients which means time for Photoshop. These kind of drawings are mainly used using paints. So I wanted the same kind of look so I added loads of textures uh, on the shapes. I mainly use grunge textures and brush textures which you can just go on google and search for grunge, brunch, grunge or brush texture. I use this little example on the left there because I don't want to keep opening chrome and photoshop and all that. And it's a lot of work trying to edit all of that. I felt that the image was very flat and had no depth to it. So I decided to make some forms 3D. Now I know I should be doing this on Illustrator, but to save time, I just did it on here. I also made the background more interesting by adding a large grunge texture and more forms to complement the main forms. The final touch are using very dark shadows to add more depth on the diagram.
Now the meaning of this abstract concept sketch is that each of the large forms is part of a building which is connected by a central spine. It has an organic circulation which is shown by the large curve which separates some of the forms which allows the user to be separate, separated if wanted from the other people as this is a Maggie center which is a cancer care center. And this is the final drawing. I hope you guys like this and if you want to see more diagrams and tutorials on Illustrator and Photoshop let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is the end of the Insiders Pro Guide. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment and I'll see you next time. Thank you.